Right in the way, man. Okay, this is caviar. You know what caviar is? Fish eggs. And these are strawberry. Are you telling me there's strawberry fish out there on the sea? I don't know. We finna eat it though. Apple and lime. Wifey has coffee. And we got an assortment of muffins. We have the apple cruffin and the chocolate chip scone. Wifey has the apple cruffin and the smoked cheddar jalapeno croissant. All right, guys, I have a acai bowl and it looks amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Just like this one looks amazing. <laughs> Look, acai. Same color as my shirt. Wow. There it is. Nice. Scrumptious. Scrumptious. Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody. So I got the chicken sandwich off the naughty menu here at Razzle Dazzle. It is a black sesame bun with fried chicken and the purple stuff you see on it. This is beet aioli. Okay, and then I got a side salad because I want to be a little bit healthy. Rodney has the impossible burger and fries. And then we have the potato tots with cheese on them. So this is our brunch, our breakfast for today. So this Impossible Burger is really good. I'm shocked, like you really can taste the flavor of the patty. You can't even tell that it's not a real patty. And everything on an avocado, the tomato, the lettuce, I forgot what sauce it is on here, but it's amazing. It's actually better than a vegan place back home, a vegan burger place back home, which I'm not gonna call the name, but this is really good. It's happening here. Guys, we we are in the famous hallway, which means we made it famous. We are uh -huh. headed somewhere. Yes. <laughs> but basically, we're headed off the ship, finally, to explore the Beast Club. It's one thirty-two. Ship man. leaves at seven. We wanted to take our time today, okay? And that's all right, cause it's our vacation, right? We can do that. Yep. So we're headed off the ship now to go and explore Bimini.
anything we had to do, I try to destroy me.
and get toppings. You can get this and get toppings put on it. Okay. Sorry guys, I already started digging in. It's a white pizza with chicken added and arugula. And it's so good. <laughs> I was afraid of. I'm about to mix it all together and I'm gonna try it. Y'all pray for me. Here we go. Actually not that bad. It's got a smoky taste. Taste a little salt. It's not that bad like I thought it was gonna be. It's okay. 
We have a sea diving scallop, pan sear with garlic and butter, and then jamón serrano and seaweed. We are recording. Yep. And the broth is made of jamón serrano also, cured Spanish smoked ham. Uh, cured uh, Spanish ham. Bon Thank you. They don't like it. The only thing I liked was the scallops. Everything else, including the broth. God, I could have left that for me. I'm good. Mom, go. It was okay. The scallop was the, the best scallop part. was the best. And I love scallops. Like the scallop was really good. But the broth was very interesting tasting. I think the green, the green thing in here, I think this is supposed to be seaweed. And then the ham and I just I don't know. I'm not a fan of this. But if they just want to bring me a plate full of scallops, be my guest. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Let me explain everything. So you have beetroot, roasted beetroot mousse underneath the meat. You have beef and venison. And then on the side you have pickled blueberries. I'm adding on top bitter chocolate and meat dew okay. to give a different flavor to the food. What is that? Bitter chocolate mm -hmm. and meat dew. Meat dew? Yes. Meat juice. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. <It is. laughs> and on the side you have a 17 layers of potato parve with clarified butter on top bacon powder and chives. Enjoy, Thank you. bon appetit. Thank, Thank you. You, <laughs> you got venison? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Would you like another cocktail? Let me just say, I think the decorum here on the plate is very graphic. Okay. I mean, what does this look like? Blood. Yes. Blood splatter. Blood splatter. And those are the guts. But anyway. Okay, well, let me do it like that. Alright, come on. Oh, I don't want to cut. That gave me the fancy knife that I couldn't. Alright. They have beef. And I have the venison, which is deer. Roadkill. Mm -hmm. Roadkill. Um, okay, okay, the beef is good. Yeah, um, I, don't, I don't know if I tasted the chocolate piece, but okay. This is 17 layers of potato with chives and I think she said bacon powder. Bacon soda or something, I don't know. I'm just making a mess of it though. It's not intentional, I promise. I was just trying to cut it so I can eat it. With clarified butter. That's pretty good. Alright guys, let's try this venison slash deer for the first time. <laughs> Is it tender? I don't know. The struggle looks real. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. All right. It is game. It's gamey. Yep. So is that a yes, a no, a maybe? Mm. I don't know if I can eat a lot of this. Is it rich? It is very rich. Do you like it? It's good? 
it's, it's okay. It's good. It's different. Different? Yeah, but it's okay. Enjoy. Thank you. What's Guys, the, the Venice slash deer. Venice slash deer. Venice, oh, Venice <laughs> slash deer. Kind of put me in the mind of liver. Yeah. Um, I ate a good bit. Uh, I, want, I don't want any more. Wifey smashed her beef. I mean, it's beef. Yeah. She let me taste a little and uh, it was actually good. I, I tried to give him a good little bit because, you know, when he took that first bite of venison, I was like, oh, he's gonna still be hungry. So I tried to give him a good little bit of my beef. Yeah, the venison put me in the mind of liver a little bit. Um, it wasn't too bad. But that's all I could eat of it. Now we have a pre-dessert called blue cheese semifredo. Semifredo means half frozen. Comes with Asian pears, caramelized pecans, and citrus olive oil. Bon appetit. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm about to try the blue cheese. I got everything in the spoonful. <laughs> oh, Lord. I got everything in the spoonful. Okay, there it is. Let's try it. <laughs> this actually tastes like a dessert. Really? It really does. And it's blue cheese. Wow. Okay, well let me try it. It's supposed to be a palate cleanser. Does your palate feel clean? This don't taste like blue cheese. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be hard. It doesn't taste like blue cheese. It doesn't. It tastes like a dessert. And the consistency of it. Yep. It's very soft, like whipped cream or something. Yeah. It's good. It's it good. is. Pleasantly surprising. Mm -hmm. Now we have a chocolate lamington. Inside there is vanilla cremon, sponge cake, strawberry jam. And on top we have 99% cacao ganache, strawberry caviar, and almond microwave sponge. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. I'm about to taste this strawberry caviar first. Okay, this is caviar. The you know caviar is fish eggs. And these are strawberry. Are you telling me there's strawberry fish out there on the sea? I don't know. We finna eat it though. Wow. <laughs> it's good. All right, let's take a bite. Mm, that's really good. Okay. Whoa. Look at that. On the inside, you see that? Definitely dark chocolate. And you love dark chocolate. Do. It's not bad. What's going on, people? Um, so, tonight Hello. was the last night. Mm -hmm. It's a wrap. Um, the Beast Club was amazing. It was. We had a lot of Good fun. Good little vibe, even mm -hmm. though we didn't do much, but just the atmosphere mm -hmm. was nice. Um, yeah. Um, test Kitchen. Was a test. Was a test, but it was good. It, it was a good experience. Me. It tested me. <laughs> It did. It tested me. I know we were supposed to be testing the food. I feel like it tested me. It tested my my culinary gangster. <laughs> is what it did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it was cool. We enjoyed our day. Ready to get back home and see our kids. Um, we thank you guys for watching our content. Mm -hmm. If you like what you thank see, you. you want more, please subscribe like comment share give us some feedback 
yeah so um if you have any suggestions on where you think we should go next or even if we don't go there next just somewhere we should go and experience let us know i know that rodney's been talking about turks and caicos and aruba, aruba antigua antigua yeah yeah i mean the list goes on and on i mean and eventually we'll be able to go across the atlantic and visit europe So we thank you guys. <laughs> and on that note, we're out of here. Thanks again. Thank you. Peace. Bye-bye. I'm glad I'm blurred out. <laughs> <laughs>